My name is Kathy, and here's my story on how I was a celebrity for a week on a cruise ship. Who deserves to move on in this competition? Which three ladies should be contestant number one? DJ, how you feel? And you, Brittany? I won, y'all. Can y'all believe people actually cheer for me? I was just dancing to whatever song they put on. But once they put on Beyonce, it was a wrap. This is not the schedule, but it was pretty similar. They had to alter it because of the storm. And I also got an iPod to practice the song. It's time for my photo shoot. had me doing photo shoots and doing things that I wasn't used to doing, but I was still having fun. Now, Kathy, it's, it's been a bit of a crazy week. Um, you've been a celebrity of a cruise ship. How does that feel for you? Okay. <laughs> it's like you're back in the game. Yeah. 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 She's so excited. She's almost speechless. So I'm getting ready for the morning show interview. And I'm so nervous because, well, I don't know what to wear. And everything shows my boobs. Two, it's not my crowd. Three, I feel like I don't have enough glitter. And I didn't want to wear any makeup. I just wanted to look natural because if I do wear makeup, it's going to be for the show. And I'm kind of nervous about the show because um, I don't really know that song. It's Raining Man. And I never seen anybody perform it. So that's kind of making me nervous. It's about 8.50. The interview starts at 9.30. I'm kind of nervous. I'll talk to y'all later. The celebrity of a cruise ship. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I really think it's hilarious because everybody already called me Beyonce. And here, everybody's calling me Beyonce. I thought the name would like kind of die down a bit. It's funny. What does your daughter think? That's good one. She just thinks <laughs> Are you okay with mom gonna be up here tonight? Do anything? Or are you like, oh my god. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Yes! So I just came back from rehearsal and it went well I guess and I need to practice this song because I do not know the song. I know one of the songs but I don't know the other one. So all you Lola girls, all the umbrellas at home, alright. She is wild and sassy by day. She goes by Kathy, but at night you can call her Beyonce Part 2. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Georgia, please show you up for the one and only Kathy! You guys decided that Scott was actually the winner of it. Therefore, Scott got to choose who goes first and who goes second for tonight's main event. So he said that he was going to be a true gentleman and let the ladies go first. So, Kathy, the moment is here. Are you ready for your time to shine? Yes. Perfect. All right, we're going to go take a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only, Kathy! Kathy! Alright, if you know the song, then back to the beat. Here we go. 
Obviously, I can't play the song because of copyright reasons, but I will probably post it on Instagram or Facebook. Follow me. You might can't tell on this video, but I was very, very nervous. I was also having so much fun. I wish I can do it over again. Just like you forgetting one, we're just sticking to the same words. So it's good consistency across the board. It's good. It's good. Um, that was good. What made you pick uh, a Miley Cyrus song? I love Miley Cyrus. And him, my titty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it takes a very brave woman to say something like that on the stage. So. <laughs> you what? I'm a Disney baby. You know, I was expecting it like that's a Reagan or something. You know, but well, Hannah Montana, you committed to it, girl. If we had that song, I would have picked that song, baby. So, what does that song sound like? That's so Raven. <laughs> yeah. You're really it, right? I gotta say, there was there was really good energy. Um, I love that you like flung the hat. I love that you like eyeballed where your daughter was at first because you were like, these children ain't stealing my hat. Please take this child uh, so she can give it back. So that was good, good coordination. I liked it. Um, I like the I like the floor work. I like that you utilized the space of the stage. It was a good one to kind of get everybody involved. And I gotta say, you really set a really strong tone. So well done, my dear. That was awesome. That was really good. Okay. Now, Shepard. Okay, and my very own Chris, it's had enough time to kind of kill a little bit to see if they could maybe whip something together. So Lord only knows what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and actually see the journey that brought these individuals to us here tonight. All right. Oh, there's Steve. There's Scott. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Scott's coming up first. I don't want to say Steve. So there he is. You guys had a chance to see him all around uh, throughout the entire week where things were going crazy, things were going wild, and he had a chance to really have some extra fun all throughout the week. Now, it was uh, when he had a chance to join us upstairs on the uh, Alita One, the only Scott! First, okay, we're gonna try this one more time. All right, the what, what, what? Show the video, show the video, girl. <laughs> I'm working on it, I can't do it from here. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. So, ladies and gentlemen, in a moment, hopefully, we'll have a chance to see the, the journey that brought Kathy to us as she's the one to do ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, show your love for Kathy. Again, copyright reasons. Now on this performance, <laughs> I was not having that much fun. I was not having that much fun at all. Like I was just trying to pull the Beyonce out of me and let the show go on, but I just did not know this song. I still can't believe I did a whole performance with dancers and all. Oh, like, oh my God, that was so crazy, y'all. Goodness. Uh, <clears throat> look at you. I'm looking like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. That was amazing. How, how do you feel right now? Because you just performed with the Playlist cast. I feel good. I feel good. 
Uh, <laughs> one word a lot, I'm just saying. Okay, now, now you, and, and first of all, I think you almost broke a nail because you spanked Michael so hard that I, you literally went like, like, running past me with a limp. Um, so how was that to like just literally get them up here and literally you whipped up some choreography and now... I just said I need hot in here. And then not only did you attack the booty, you like attacked the booty. You went back to like thirds and fourths on Josh. <laughs> you, you know your boyfriend said went there, right? So the show is over. I didn't win. But it's okay because I got a lot of fans. Every time I walk by, somebody's telling me, telling me I did really good, or I look really pretty, or I did nice, or I was very entertaining. I did like the other guy's performance, Scott. He did really good. I kind of feel like it was a setup, but it's cool. Today is the last day on the cruise. We go home tomorrow. I'm the only one excited. I run a trophy. I also won this and i also got the pictures from the photo shoot i'll talk to y'all later we got a pack to go home i'm ready to go home she's not ready to go but i am i am i'm ready to go home i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready, I'm ready. Before I go to sleep, I just want to say this has been an amazing week and I'm never going to forget it. I went to Grand Turks. I went to the Dominican Republic. I went to Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh. I met a lot of new people. I got a lot of fans. I performed on stage. Oh my gosh. Like, I spent the week with my family. I got to explore the world with my family, with my kids. I'm sure this is a week they're not going to forget. But this was awesome, amazing week of my life.